reaping my black pills at the pit stop from my gangster mom. Skrrr. Skrrr. Everything you've heard is bullshit. Reality isn't a choice between the blue pill and the red pill. It's the black pill. This pill. Guys, like, man, I ain't trying to do this. Huh? So this is why you see so many women are single because they can get a guy for one, two, three nights. But when it comes to the dating and courting and mating stage, they don't qualify. It's not that guys don't want to necessarily do it. It's not that sex is easy for men to get. Yes, it is for some men, but not all. But it's the fact that men can identify right away. You heard that? You heard that? Because men realize position three or position four. Position four. Let's say a one time fling or pump and dump or position three. You can be casual, man. You get on the floor. I'll see you. I'll see you on the weekends, whatever, or after hours sometime. That's it. Three or four. That's why. Two and one, only few. Commit, committed category. All right. So all these all these females over here who think they're fucking God gift to mankind, you better check yourself. You'll check your status. All right. Check your status. If this girl is long-term material, or if he's just hook, she's just hookup material. If I could just smash and dash, and you know, I wouldn't bring her around my mom. I wouldn't bring her around friends or family. You know, uh -oh. she has all these different things going on with her. Uh -oh. This leads me to the next point. There's so many women who are, don't even really look like women. Their mannerisms are not even ladylike, right? They're not feminine, and so many women think that being nice, being feminine, being kind, being a lady is beneath them. It's weak. So you have all these women who are walking around with this entitled masculine attitude and are like, yeah, uh, yeah, transsexual energy, yeah, yeah, a tranny, a transsexual energy. All right. So like I say, a guy, a guy like on our level, if I do decide to mess with you, it needs to be a one time, a one time thing, whatever, or once every couple of months. I'm telling you right now, and guess what? And and it can be instant results. Before I was putting effort to get to know you, then fuck you. On this level, that Derry is talking about right now, you have to be instant gratification. You know, I'm a man. I can do everything a man can do. You know, I don't have to submit. I don't have to listen to a man. Uh, th this is what I bring to the table. And when you ask some women, they say, I bring a career. I bring my dog. <laughs> I have a house or I have my own money. I have uh, I have an education. All those things that they name, those are the things that men actually provide. We provide structure and okay. guidance and protection and resources. But when women say that, it's like, okay, you know, can I have some of those resources? Thank you. And yeah. they're looking. You heard? You heard? That I say, that's man, is she coming talking on a kind of mannerism, talking on a level, then she better be a bottom B or shingle mama. Thank you. My point exactly. All right. So you guys need to get it through your head, man. That's it. That, that, that right here, she can come. With that kind of attitude, that's okay. As long as she's gonna be in position two, shake a mama or bottom B, breaking bread on me. If not, get lost. Fuck with you. Looking at you like no, because a woman's money is her money. Remember this, and a, and a man's money, a woman thinks she's entitled to his money. Women aren't trying to come to relationships for the most part and give a man money oh. and pay bills. Now they pay a bill here and there, but for the most part, they're looking for a man to do for them. So a woman saying, I have an education, I have a job, I have resources, I have money. That's her money. That's what she's earned. She's not looking to actually give that or bring that to the table in a relationship. So they're not saying, I bring peace, I bring sex, I bring sandwiches, and I bring silence. I'm fit. Bang. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Feminine and friendly. I'm here to support you. I'm here to nurture you. You heard that? All right. Even on position three. A smart man, that's something even that you can appreciate. Even even on the category three, position three. 
me? Kindness, laid back, feminine, and just, just being casual. Even though it could be a long-term casual. And the woman's smart enough. And she's smart enough. But most of but most of so fucking spoil and delusional because social media uh I get them delusions. Social media get them delusion. All this all this TikTok and Instagram and social media and even the main mainstream society had get them a bunch of lies and propagandas and delusion to the point they can't even be in position three okay right here position three is easy to be in category three like a like a weekend companion like a long-term companion that's it i mean you pay your own shit have your own have your own place boom i'll see you on the weekend we link up on the weekend we chill but most of them are even so fucking retarded and stupid they can't even appreciate just be in position three you i'm here to care for you i'm here to tend to the house and if you want kids i'm here to tend to the kids they're not saying See, now that, that's position one. Depends if she's a virgin or she have low numbers on her vagina, all right? If she have low numbers on her body, okay? And these things, they're just saying, I bring uh, these, uh, I bring some money. I graduated from, from uh, college. I got, I went to use this university. And on top of that, they're bringing so much debt, all right? Uh -huh. So the liability when it comes to modern women is there. But them being an asset is really not. So this is why you see so many women who are single. I could go on and on, but these are the main reasons. A lot of women just think that they're God's gift to mankind, that they're goddess. You heard that? That's in the, I'd say early, earlier. I don't know if I say in this video or, or the one prior. Same, same thing I just say, all right? You think they're God's gift to mankind. All you are Christ to mankind. <laughs> is that they're queens. I'm sure you guys saw these women before. I mean, on dating apps, they have long lists of demands, or they say, well, you have to be this guy, you have to be that guy, you have to be, and it's like, what the heck? Like, you know, and they're pricing themselves straight out the market. Now, the let Overinflated value, okay? The value is overinflated, all right? It's just like paying, um, it's just like buying um, a 2000 Mercedes, and you're paying uh, a Rolls Royce, price all right yeah phantom is like you 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 paying a 2022 rolls royce phantom price for a 2000 mercedes benz the fuck with you so in some case a lexus a used lexus the fuck with you last thing women have a certain type of guy that they want okay this is huge and they want this certain dude now he might be have a tattoo beard and over six feet tall let's say that's a woman's preference now think about it. There's not a lot of guys over six feet tall and, and women want a guys with a beard and tattoos. So now those guys are a small percentage. There's not a lot of those guys. So women think, okay, when I see that guy, Raping I got my have black that. pills so at the pet stop from my gangster mom. Yeah. And when they're hooking up with this guy, this guy is like, okay, I'm in this small percentage. I have all these offers. So why should I have to commit to a woman? Why should I be with you? Why should I even do anything? And if I'm getting all these sexual advances from different women, this is why so many women are single and these female dating and matchmaking coaches are checking out of the game. Everything you've heard is bullshit.